I'm going to go straight to James Jenkins with his golden nugget of today. Okay, so today we're looking at uh, debt consolidation. Historically, um, in the mortgage world, people have borrowed money on loans, credit cards, car finance, and then looked to consolidate that debt up with their mortgage payments to reduce their monthly outgoings and therefore wipe the slate clean effectively. Now, that for years and years ha has gone on, um, but currently now that's becoming a very hot topic within the Financial Conduct Authority, whereby as advisors now we've been strongly uh, encouraged to, to deter debt consolidation, to look more closely at what the client's interest rates they're paying on these loans and, and credit cards. A good example of that is if you now have 0% credit cards, it's very unlikely that it's going to be seen as, as good advice um, to consolidate those debts up with your mortgage. So the main thing is to make sure that clients are aware that they're not looking to just take debt out and then put it on their mortgage. A lot of lenders these days will only allow one lot of debt consolidation. If you try and do it again, they're not going to allow you to do that. So your choices in terms of being able to debt consolidate are, are disappearing. So really it's a bit of a warning and a bit of a thing for people to be aware that that option of just keep pounding debt into the mortgage could well be disappearing over the, the, the short to long term, or so medium to long term. Brilliant, thank you. So really be aware of, of your options and that they might be a bit more limited now. Absolutely, and, and take advantage of the fact that there are 0% credit cards out there. So if you've got 0% credit cards coming to an end, don't automatically think of rolling it up and saving money monthly or by putting it on your mortgage. That's gonna mean you're paying an awful lot of interest over an awful lot of time compared to, compared to what you were paying on a 0% credit card. Mm -hmm. So yeah, make sure you, you, you think things through properly. Perfect, thank you. Um, and Paul, did you have anything to add in that area? Yeah, well, it's been quite widely reported lately that um, consumer credit's been rising. Um, and that's potentially why the FCA is getting concerned about these things, because people don't see it as something they need to ever repay. But of mm -hmm. course you do. So sometimes a bit of short-term pain can result in some long-term gain. Um, and also understanding the difference between good debt and bad debt. And my differentiation there is good debt is investment debt. It's, it's debt that helps you improve your finances, whereas bad debt is consumer credit, even your home loan. It gives you somewhere to live, but doesn't improve your finances. Brilliant, thank you. But debt's, debt's still debt at the end of the day, but be aware of what debt's driving you forward and which ones are dragging you back. Correct, absolutely. Excellent.